Hello everyone, welcome back to another 3 Minutes of 3. Today we're going to talk about running a business with your spouse. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we're going to talk about. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> that girl. So, um, so running, with, running a business with your spouse can present a lot of interesting challenges. Um, probably more than what mm -hmm. we can talk about in this three minutes at three. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot, lot more things, but we'll try to touch the, touch mm -hmm. the tops of the topics. Okay. Um, one of the biggest things whenever you run a business with your spouse is you got to remember that she's, she or he is your spouse first, your business partner second, mm -hmm. most imp important rule. Their feelings come over your pocketbook, period. Mm -hmm. End of story. If you're not making sure that you're keeping up that back end, you're keeping your spouse happy with you, you know, you guys are in a good sp spot, in a good space for each other, and you can confide, confide in one another, you're not going to have a great business relationship. Right. It's right. not going to happen. Yeah, you have to have mutual trust for mm -hmm. sure to be able to run a business together. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of great benefits that come about running a business with your spouse. You know, number one, you've got two people, two minds heading, tackling problems and brainstorming mm -hmm. and coming up with fantastic solutions uh, mm -hmm. to, to things that may help your business really grow. On the downside, if you're having trouble seeing eye to eye or you have creative differences or one person wants mm -hmm. to do something and the other person doesn't want to do it, it can become very tricky to navigate this and not let it damper your your relationship yeah bleed off into your marriage essentially mm -hmm. so um and and that is that is a classic thing of why they say you know uh you know you don't hire friends or family type mm -hmm. thing okay and uh, you know family <laughs> right okay so you don't hire friends or family or you don't go into business with friends or family mm -hmm. you know there's an old saying of that and added to that and then you know companies large companies usually don't hire people from the same family uh, because there's an emotional ties to that mm -hmm. and in business sometimes it requires and we've had this fight before you know and she's had to trust me on something where i needed to make a decision now today mm -hmm. not three weeks from now she has she likes to sit and think about it and ponder mm -hmm. yeah i do ponder the options research stuff i don't mm -hmm. i don't i have to push forward on a certain project and i need it now today not you know, next week. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes we have these quarrels. Mm -hmm. well, we really do. Yeah, you know, we, do. we have these butting aheads and she just has to trust me that I know which way I'm steering the ship right. at that point in time. And then there's times like a lot of stuff like taxes and things of that nature, right. you know, that I know nothing about. Mm -hmm. I have to trust that she's steering the ship in the right direction. Right. So yeah, it also takes so trust and compromise too. It requires compromising on stuff that perhaps is less important. Yes, it does. So, so we told you it's going to take longer than three <laughs> minutes to take and explain this one out. So yeah. we'll try to get this one in and a couple other series mm -hmm. on this one. But anyways, that's it for this three minutes of three. We really appreciate you being here. Thank you for joining us. And like we always say, God bless you. And we'll catch you on the next one.